from the from the from the feature shot about it. I was like, where do I stop it? And so we got so we found the book and it was like, that's not in the book. And Mr. Carp was like, book? What book? But then, uh, it was it was me. When 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 Bikini Ball was dropped to his foot and he was and it, it, it was by me, Burger Beer. And then everyone had this weird shock look on their face. And I was like, who did the story in? Well, let me think. Scratching his beard and whatnot. So so Mr. Carp, so I simply rewrote the story and boom. Before you, like, what do you mean? Rewrote the story. By far the most awkward looking face I've ever seen from Squidward. So Burger Beer pulls out the book, writes, go to Pelicans Island and whatnot. The end. Times the book site, they all in Pelicans Island trying to, and they're almost gotten eaten by pelicans and stuff like that. Pelicans and whatnot. I want to be your team too, Sandy. You're smart. Yeah, have you thought about? It? Well, I ain't been too smart. I should have found this book. Why is Sandy waiting for the last minute to pull out the piece of pa- I mean, seriously, she had the paper with her the whole time and she waited to that last minute to show it to them. Sandy, Jesus, I'm so done. I am so done. You did not wait to the last minute to show your friends what's going on. I mean, seriously, you waited to the last minute to show them that piece of paper. You're supposed to be smart. Smart people do not wait till the last minute to show something. They tell them right away. So the paper said the end, and then, so they legitly wanted to rewrite the story to help the, to help Bikini Bottom go back to normal. So, Spongebob and his friends became superheroes. Yay! Kids like superheroes, don't they? Yeah, they like superheroes, because they're awesome. I'm sorry, but they should have kept that the power from from that from that Super Friends episode. The 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 Quickster, Captain Magma, Miss Appear, Sandy. This album makes me look fat. First of all, Sandy, you weren't fat. You weren't, you, weren't, you wasn't fat to begin with. So I don't even know why you said that quote. And um, Quacka Quacka Tower, Master, Ma, the Mr. Magma guy. Yeah, Squidward. So. So, so the so the character so Plankton was literally hiding in SpongeBob's sock the whole time, and so he he, he comes out and he writes in the story and whatnot. So the the movie so so they so they sh so they go back to Burger Beard's place where they show Burger Beard making the burgers. He was giving them to the customers, and that's where in the Super SpongeBob characters came from the sky and they emerged to save the day. Do 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 do, Patrick. Sorry. Hey, I got feet. Yeah, yeah, right. You're, oh, you're happy now. And this one guy said, "Man, what are in these things?" I mean, like, so, 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 I was like, I don't know. Hey, what do you mean you don't know what's what's in the burgers? You're the one who's eating them. So we got the Invincible Bubble, um, Mr. Super Awesomeness, Sour Note, the Rodent, and that's it. That's it. Mr. Krabs and and Mr. Krabs don't have a name. So the Invincible Bubble is is obviously SpongeBob. Mr. Super Awesome is Patrick. He has a cape with the ice cream cone symbol on the back. He has these has these, has these purple gloves with with the, with his flower with the little flower things on him. He has a I think he has like a little has like a little purple thing on his head. He has feet. He has he has a really flat chubby chubby stomach. He he has these really powerful arms and whatnot. So Squidward is sour note. He has he has like a little. This little helmet, I think has like a music note on the top of it. Has this giant clarinet that he blows on and whatnot. Sandy's the rodent. Sandy, out of all this here, they just turned Sandy into a real squirrel. That's all they did to her in the movie. You can call me the rodent. I mean, come on now, really? You turned her into a real squirrel that you see in real life. And she was huge. She was like a behemoth squirrel running around the street. And I bet the kids are going to be freaking out. Ah, it's a squirrel, mommy, kill it. Bam, bam. What a, no, no, this one should have been in the movie. A mom should have came out of nowhere. It's like, bam, bam. And this one was like, ooh, that's got to hurt. Sandy, are you okay? Man, that woman just got me a hit. I mean, so that, would be, that should have been good in the movie. That, a woman, I mean, a mother should have came in with a, with a baseball bat and just, and just hit it Sandy. Like 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 five thousand times and she died. Oh yeah. Anyways, back to the movie. So this one was like clear the area, citizen. There'd be some serious back kicking going on here. And so everybody didn't moved. So so nobody moved at all. And Mr. And that's when SpongeBob told Sour Note to reveal his clarinet to to scare the customers away by blowing on the by blowing on the clarinet. And that's when Burger Bear got really upset. I mean. 
All the customers were leaving. And Burger Bear's like, no, don't leave, don't leave. My pay. I don't know what he said. And he got really angry. I mean, Mr. Super Awesomeness, take him down. <laughs> Maybe you should have found a better super power, super, super power for you, Patrick. Here it comes. Here it comes. The funniest part of the movie. Burger Bear pulled out the book. Let me see if you can handle this one. Rice in the book. Mr. Krabs had his arms out. Hurricane! <laughs> he had his arms out. Like, 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 Hurricane! He's like, what the? What the? It's like freaking Popeye or something. Shot, shot his arms out. Burger Bear landed on the boat. He shot his second arm out. And that's what I was like, like get ready for the Invincible. <laughs> My book! I mean, it's just a book, dude. You can go buy a new one from eBay. And that's when they were about. That's when they 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 they, they, they saved the day. They 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 had hands in the middle. And that's when that's when Sandy came in, and that's when SpongeBob and the other kids were shocked by her appearance. She's like, "What? I mean, what do you mean, what? I mean, Sandy, you're a squirrel. I mean, she was she was doing this and stuff. I'm like, dang, Sandy, you really need to take a shower. Follow that grease team and whatnot. They're all going in the streets. I already told you, Patrick was surfboarding on SpongeBob. I'm freaking Squidward was actually riding like Squidward was lazy to run so he so he asked Sandy to give him a ride. So Sandy was actually happy enough to give Squidward a ride. He was like, I mean, Sandy, you're a squirrel, not a horse. Why were you doing this? Dang, you're a freaking squirrel, not a goddamn horse. And then and then they're all they're, 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 woohoo! I mean like, calm down! I mean, yeah, that's really must be eager to get that book back, huh? So Burger Bear was literally driving the boat all over the streets. And then Patrick was about to grab it. Mr. Burger Bear's like, oh, no, you don't. You're not going to touch my precious book. Patrick started slapping his feet on SpongeBob's face. And then that's when they all got knocking out and stuff like that. And so, um, so after that, um, so they, so, so, so Mr. Burger Bear was after, was, was reaching to get the book. So I was like, He's after the book, Sandy. Use your squirrel powers. So they literally, so Sandy was like type ro rocking on the chain. She was doing, she was going in a very slow pace, and so they legitly, so 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 they so they, so they had to plow to the other way. <clears throat> no, excuse me, to get Sandy to the other side. So Burger Bear was literally holding on the on the on the mask of the pirate ship, and that's what was like prepared to be teamwork. I'm just gonna rub your little skin. Uh, I don't get it. Um, because you're a sponge. And that's what Patrick said. Justice is best. Soft served. And that's when the ice cream cones came from the shop. And he was like, <laughs> Patrick, I should have never doubted your powers. And Burger Bear was literally on the rope flying over the ice cream cones like a jack. Like like a, like a complete fool. And I was like, <laughs> I'm like, you better be excited. You, you, you drunk. I mean, Burger Bear sounded so drunk. He had, he had that full-grown beard, he ain't all drunk and whatnot, swinging through that rope. And so, the ice cream cones legitly slapped against Patrick, as it was like, get him, the rodent! And that's when Sandy went into the little wheelbarrow, she got the nuts, she started spitting the nuts out. Burger Bear had the spatula blocking the nuts, like, she was, she was literally knocking the nuts away from him, away from... So like, she was like, she was like, Psh, like, like, Psh. I'm like... Oh, this movie has no action. Ah, nuts, I'm all out of nuts. You say to your girl, you don't have nuts. I'm not going to say that V word. Not, yeah, that's what clue what girls have. They don't have nuts. That's what guys have. And so, so Patrick got knocked. No, wait, so, 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 what, so what happened next was, Mr. Krabs came out of nowhere. And then the small was, no, first one was about to get the formula. So Mr. Krabs was like, "Not so fast, Burger Beard!" <laughs> shot his shot his claws out, destroyed the boat. And Mr. Krabs was about to eagerly grab his formula. Burger Beard came in with the machine gun. He had like the little machine gun, and he had butter. And there was like a little barrel underneath it. It was the barrel started rotating, and that's when the butter shot out. I hope you fit it into butter. So the so the so the barrel of the of the of the machine gun started rotating. That's that means it's about to fire. So so Mr. Krabs like not the butter. <laughs> Mr. Krabs flew into the air, and that's when Small was about to grab the formula. Burger Beard was not for the it. He 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 grabbed the little lever thing. He pulled the lever down. 
a huge amount of cannons emerged from the pirate ship. And he was like, Wah! I was like, are you kidding me? And as, as he started firing the cannons at SpongeBob or the Invincible, and the other was like, and making those noises, he was like, aha, and making all those noises and whatnot. And then the, the, the cannons went through his wand and SpongeBob started, yeah, I'm like, shut up, dang, you're so childish. I mean, seriously, I mean, you got all your friends out in danger, and it's like, ah, I'm like, please, that's not funny. And they're playing that that, that, that music in the background, it's like, why am I doing this to my life? But I just was eating ice cream cones sitting on the road, it was like, they're beautiful. Pops the bu- pops one of the bubbles with the cannonballs in it, and the cannonball landed flat on his face, and all the bubbles that were in the cannonballs fell from the sky, and Burger Beer got the formula and whatnot. So Plankton was was uh, was Plankton actually teamed up and became Plankton, who looks like the Incredible Hulk. So Plankton got in, got in, got in upset because Burger Beer was making fun of Plankton's size, and that's when he became Plankton. So Plankton is basically the mutated Incredible Hulk SpongeBob Plankton guy. So Plankton literally grabbed Burger Beer's boat and started like like spinning with his fingers and whatnot. So Burger Beer was in the pirate ship at, flying and whatnot. The swords. Almost killed him. Oh yeah, by the way, the book actually roasted in the fire. Not the formula, just the book itself. So the book roasted in the fireplace. So Plankton was like, come out, come out, wherever you are. Burger Bear had a mustard bottle. <laughs> my eyes! And not only my eyes jokes, bro. That joke is so old. My leg, my eyes, those are so old in Spongebob. Those are like the oldest quotes from the show. My eyes and my leg. My leg! I mean, why is it always your leg? I mean, seriously, why do you keep hurting your leg, dude? I mean, seriously, just stop injuring yourself, dude. Come on now. And so, um, Plankton literally defeated Burger Beer, and he wanted to give Burger Beer the final blow by grabbing SpongeBob or the Invincible Bubble. So the Invincible Bubble started shooting bubbles out of his wand. A giant wave of bubbles started chasing after him to slow him down. So Burger Beer got gotten grabbed by Plankton, and Plankton kicked Burger Beer away from the island, and then everybody lived happily ever after. They got the formula, they returned back to Bikini Bottom. But I like it here. Look at me. I my god! I mean, shut up, Squidward. Nobody, nobody likes you, anyways. And so they got back, they got the formula back, and they all lived happily ever after. Bikini Bottom, Bird Beer was very disappointed. So they all sang the SpongeBob theme song at the end of the movie, and that's Sponge Out of Water. Verdict: Sponge Out of Water. Good concept. I like the story idea. I like it. I like how they were in CGI instead of that two D fashion stuff. They actually stepped up the game a bit. I'm going to give Nickelodeon some credit on that. But the overall... Uh, this, all this movie needed was more action in it. I mean, this movie needed action. They weren't really doing that much stuff in the surface, but just toddling around with Burger Beer trying to get the book. I know it's supposed to be a kid's movie, but if you want some action, go watch The Avengers. That's a good movie right there. All right, that's my Spongebob Out of Water review. This movie is 27... This video is 27 minutes long. Hope you guys enjoyed it, so see you guys later. Goodbye.